It has been 11,000 years since the kingdom of Adora was cast into the Astral Sea, along with the invading demon god Deimos. The last king of Adora, Narl Danstra, the elven god king Xandral Mishinel, and the necromancer Avagard fought and stopped the impending doom of the internal darkness from coming forth, but were lost to the world when they too were cast into the Astral Sea. Now, the land of Redigan is split into four kingdoms. Adeshmira is the Elven Kingdom, where 10,000 years ago they called the Elves back into their forest to lock it away. Most heeded the call, but some believe that they should not segregate and stayed in the world. The Round Top Rainforest, where many other races call home, is now a kingdom under the direction of the Druids who reside there. They left their borders open, but all know that if you enter and do not respect the forest, your life will be forfeit. The Dwarven Kingdom of Gratisbar called the dwarves back to their homes, closing and locking the doors of their vast mountain kingdom, and they have not opened them yet. Finally, the Kingdom of Remedigan known as the Kingdom of the Humans, left its borders open and welcomed anyone who sought refuge. It thrived, not from isolation, but a joining of all races under one idea. Peace. A hundred years ago, Odura returned. With it, the High General Martin Firewell and King Xandro Michinel. And there has been a fragile peace between all kingdoms. Until now. Sit back and relax as I take you out of your reality and into my nightmare's dream world. Welcome back to the Bros and Dragons podcast. Last time on the Bros and Dragons podcast, the friends made a makeshift shrine for fallen guardians. The plant's Liam was created from Taysan forming symmetrical periods of the fallen, while the guardian waffle cast plant growth. A peaceful sleep came in the newly cured area of the dark forest. A spirit thanked Taysan for what they did, using the Howling Shaft to speak through to him. A guardian of the Soul Forge, Cloud, introduced himself as the Voice of Gaia. The next day, the friends have a normal traveling day, like the summer breaks of old. They walk once again into the disorienting dark forest to continue to the Adashmira. They come to a magma field in the dark forest after traveling for about five hours. They find a cave. Things seem off, but they still want to go in for some reason. They see hand and footprints coming in and out of the cave. Stroop picks up some black ichor leaves, holds them, and a golden glow comes over the leaves, turning them green once again as they form a cocoon, and it bursts. Philip, the sprite, flies. Stroop sends Philip ahead, and they move into the cave, into the cavern. After talking, the uh, after talking to the entity, they were engaged in battle. Where Marinda went down unconscious, Taysan is being drawn to the entity, and Stroop was holding her own, but closer to the exit than everyone else. It looked bleak. Let us adventure on. I'm really upset that nobody else has faith in Philip to save us. Um, he is my hero. <laughs> I also want to say we totally missed an opportunity. I don't know how many different things you can summon, but the fact that none of them have been named Steve or Holt yet kind of breaks my heart. <laughs> but there's oh, it's coming. Don't okay, worry. fantastic. Oh, <laughs> well, as long as we survive. Speaking of, there's always there's always money in the banana stand. Don't worry. <laughs> Yes! Great job. We left off last time, mid-combat. Do we remember who took the last turn by any chance? Nope. No fucking clue. I think... I just remember. I oh, I... Got knocked down. Yeah, I, I think it was literally as I was supposed to have my first death save. Right? I don't I don't want to skip too many, so why don't we... Taysan. Huh. Ah. Before you make your end save, okay. can you make me a straight wisdom roll? Yeah. Ooh. Not bad. 
It's not great. 13. As you're drawing in, and Marinda doesn't see this. I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, Stroop, you might see. Black energy seems to be drawn from the creature to Taysan. Like, it the wrong way, whether this creature's starting to put things into Taysan or what, you don't know what's going on. At the end of your turn, though, Taysan, would you make me a wisdom save with advantage? Yeah! One of those is a 1, and one of those is a 20. Okay. Because I can only do things really good or really poorly. Uh, so that is a 24 total. Okay. Taste on you. You finally snap out of this paralysis. <sighs> You've been watching this happen the whole time. You're starting to feel this energy exchange. Mm -hmm. Stroop. Have I been thinking all day about what I want to do? <laughs> yes. Do I have any idea? No. I hit it with no, my shiny not. sword. <laughs> I'm not going to use a sword. That's what I'm not going to do. Because um, I've made it very clear I'm not good at that. Um, but what I am gonna do, because mm -hmm. I'm on the opposite side of all these, like, of the fire guy and then the two, uh... Skeletons? Bone people. Those guys. Bone people? Bone people. Okay. <laughs> um, I... Can I have Philip summoned while also using my wild shape? Um... I'm going to say yes, because we didn't say yes or no. And I don't see a reason why you can't, since you're expending a wild shape to summon Phil. Cool. Um, we're going to go all out here. Sorry, I have to get in the Discord on my phone, because I'm scared if I click out of ours, it will take me away forever. <laughs> I'm going to um, go all out. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Ah, Hannah left. <laughs> <laughs> she meant it. I oh literally God. left. If no. I'm not there, you can't delete me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I want I want to turn into the sentinel tree. I want to be a tree person. <laughs> okay, that is not your wild shape. That is an action. Oh, I want to do that as my action. You do you want to move into the cave, or are you doing this on the other end of the bear towards the exit? <sighs> I've been debating this. All day. <laughs> Sorry. I think I want to stay on the opposite side of them. Okay. My options were go give Miranda a good berry um, or stay on the opposite side and hope that Taysan does something to get Miranda up so that she can still have sneak attack. Um, so I'm going to hope and wish and pray that Taysan is going to do something. Um, at least we're flanking, whatever. Um, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm turning it into the tree. Okay. What does it look like? Okay. It starts out of just like, like almost like blooms coming out of like my fingers and then my ears and nose and all that stuff. And then eventually turns into like a big willow tree. It's like, whap. Okay. Yeah. And Taysan, you see this. Miranda, you will eventually see this. But as you snap out of your paralysis with this adjusting that's happening, you hear what sounds like something heavy hitting the ground and then the earth being split. And as you look, you watch as not only is her skin turning to bark, literal bark, not bark skin, but literal bark and blooms start coming out. She grows taller, takes on a tree form and roots to the ground. We're rooting for you. Oof. Ah. Oof. Hey. <laughs> all right nope gotta keep that in fair enough <laughs> stroop you that's your action what do you want to do for your bonus action or movement i don't have any bonus actions um hold on i, I promise i read this beforehand and then immediately forgot all of the information listen it's it's new to you and it's something i made up so okay i want to use my move action against one of the skeletons to um, attempt to grapple it. Okay. You don't move, but roots come up from the ground. And Ooh. go ahead and make that roll, and I will make mine. 
gosh darn it you are getting thrown away <laughs> um so you're saying that that rolled really high it was so so high um it was so high oh my gosh ah, like how awesome. high oh my like, gosh like how high was it <laughs> oh my god this is so high <laughs> what's your total uh, am i adding anything to that roll <laughs> Um, let me it read through this real quick. Uh, roots flow from you and attempt to entangle the creature. Use athletics check to perform the grapple with nice. advantage. Hey! Oh, with advantage? Thank goodness. <laughs> 17. Hey! And with the... And I get to drain HP. Yep, and with the four, you watch as your roots go into and around this burning skeleton, and you have them grappled. Awesome. And uh, you guys are not going to like to hear this, but I would drain its HP, but I'm at full health already. <laughs> all good. <laughs> I don't think I've been hurt either. I'm just in danger. Down. Oh, yeah. Just danger. <laughs> okay. And to maintain that grapple, you can't move. Right. Okay. Uh, that takes us to... Miranda, I need a memory. Please. Um, it's from the first time Miranda went to the Wobble Hut with Martin and Taysan, and she met Stroop um, and became Stroop's taste tester. And uh, she, because of being in the clergy, she was just so happy to have some actual food that wasn't mush and uh her amusement at learning that table dancing is a halfling tradition this thing as this energy transfer happens starts moving its neck the cracking and popping happen uh, you see it trying to pull away, but the energy is pulling towards it. Taysan, as long as you maintain your concentration on this, you're absorbing magic from them. And I will tell you what it does when that When relevant. Happens. Got it. Uh, neat. But all your, um, all your symbols are glowing very bright through everything else. Even Juniper's gift seems to not hold back the colors I, I, as you know uh i almost think of it kind of like uh like patches like on a coat okay. like iron-ons but they're actually just, like the the glyphs themselves are like just shining through re like detailed and what's your spell dc uh let me let me go ahead and look at this uh character sheet i miss paper i miss it so much 15 <laughs> uh, it can't seem to pull away from what's going on. Ha -ha. Cool. Now you're immune to that, so it can't do that. <laughs> That's great to hear the DM say, oh, you're immune mm -hmm. to that, so let's not do that. Let's just punch you until you're dead. <laughs> it, is that considered DM metagaming? Or <laughs> he knows. The monster uh, knows. No, no. The monster knows. Oh, yeah. okay. The bear will turn to the tree <laughs> and, and and pee on it. I was thinking the same. Oh thing. wait, no, and shit and shit in the woods. You're right. Never mind. I'm sorry. That was that was wrong of me. It's, maybe after it tries this fight and claw attack. Oh, fair enough. Um, I'm pretty sure no matter what, that 26 is going to hit. Yeah, that that hits. Is that just adding insult to injury if it pees on her after the fact? Mm -hmm. Probably. No. Uh, the next person that pees on me is is in for a world of hurt. Seven piercing. So the, the bite will be seven piercing. And then flame going into you will be another two. So nine total damage on that. And then the claw right. uh, will absolutely miss. Yep, I'm sure you're higher than 11. All right. I am higher. Yeah, a little... You want to get a little high? Um, get a little high. 
the skeleton that's not trapped will step up to you. Uh, 19. Do you have a new AC in this form? I do, but it's still pretty low, uh, so that does hit. You are true. <laughs> okay. I am true. Aw, oh, you are Waffle eight. Groot. And that'll be <laughs> a three piercing. And three fire, so six more. <laughs> Gets a second attack, which will miss. Okay. Bear dead. The other one's grappled and can't move. And so that takes care of that. Taysan. Okay. Uh, uh, Taysan is aware of this weird thing that he is not used to going on, or no? You're starting to feel a little overcharged, like you did when you came back from the Divine Plane. Not that intensity, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, But I got to concentrate on it. So... I think it would be really cool uh, <laughs> seeing Miranda on the ground. He has a quick flashback and a little overpowered looks at this thing and says, so you are offering power. It's nice. Here's some back and is going to cast lightning bolt at this thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I whacked her with that and killed her. Yep. Temporarily. The second t- the second time I've cast it. First time against an enemy. <laughs> uh so deck save DC 15. Taste on the ball goes off. Ooh. Okay. The enchantment releases oh. as you cast the spell. Okay. I forgot that that, that was full. My rolls. <laughs> I will. No, well, you have one more slot, but. Oh, okay. You're overpowered, and I rolled for it. Okay. And it's happening. I dig it. So I have to roll with disadvantage. I mean, I'll take it. And I'll explain why later. Uh, you said dex? Mm-hmm. Eleven. That ain't going to do it. I've never rolled a lightning bolt before. This is fun. Yeah, you did. I made you roll the damage against her, didn't I? Yeah, nah. I think so. I, think so. <laughs> I didn't cast Lightning Bolt. It just turned into Lightning Bolt. Okay. You still had to roll the damage. You know, don't make me do it again. Uh, 10, 20, 26. 26. Okay. All right. You watch the electricity go into this thing. Uh, you can feel because of the connection, the shudder that comes from it. If it had normal muscles, it would probably clench, but all you hear is the breaking from the impact and the snapping through its body. Excellent. Uh, bonus action. Um, I want to, with it still kind of buzzing and looking strange, uh, I want to quicken a cantrip. And shocking grasp this thing because hey, it worked. Let's lean in. Okay. Uh, that is a seventeen to hit. Yeah, that hit. Yay! More lightning damage. I'm becoming a thunder boy. Uh, that is eleven points of lightning. Okay. <laughs> and it doesn't get reactions. <laughs> but I'm I'm not going anywhere. I've got a cool gray like thing going on and I'm more glowy than normal and it doesn't feel terrible. So w- literally riding the lightning here. <laughs> Guardian waffle. My turn again. You're up. I only planned one action. <laughs> one turn. <laughs> I abstain <laughs> from this combat from this point forward. I turned into a tree. Everybody back off. The bear is in front of you. The skeleton that's moving is on the right. The other one's about 10 feet from you. It can't do anything. Okay, so I want to use my movement to, which means I won't be grappling that guy anymore. Okay. Um, but I want to get on the other side of him closer to Miranda. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that'll be fine. Yeah, just one attack of opportunity. <clears throat> Which I'll miss. So good call. Um, can I get two, Miranda? Yes. Okay. Then I want to uh, do Goodberry and get her get her up. <laughs> Uh, you want to get her less dead. Less dead would be preferred. So you had good berries in your inventory before, right? Yes. I ate is them it, all. Is it, oh. is it cool? <laughs> I was going to say, is it cool to like just have like a couple of them grow off your fingers as you and cast I'm, it as a tree? Cool. I was thinking that, but hold on. I, I don't think you should roll. Because if you're in tree form and you good berry, I think you'll get max. I think I'll get what? Max. Max, okay. <laughs> you got can berry I fingers. Drop one directly into her mouth. <laughs> you could put one in her mouth, sure. La, 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 la. Can I make her chew? <laughs> All right, that's my that's my turn. Miranda, you got one hit point. Yay! <laughs> Look at the not being dead. I want to know. I want to know what Miranda does and like thinks when she wakes up to just like, a, a tree, tree over her in the middle yeah. of this cavern. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were making <laughs> jokes before, and I was so happy that Tayson was no longer like paralyzed because all I wanted you to be like, "That's new, okay?" <laughs> yeah, um, when uh, Miranda wakes up, she kind of just like her eyes flutter open and she scrambles back a little. What in the world? Is that? Oh, get up. <laughs> we get to get a get up. we get to get a Hannah Tree version voice. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no, I did not prepare. Uh, that. Oh my god, it, it needs to be. You all need to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Tree Beard. Uh, Miranda, it, it is your turn. I'm sorry. This entire <laughs> time, I've just been like to the side, dead. Almost dead. Half yeah. dead. No, you stab something. <laughs> and then a week later... You can play d, &D yeah. now. <laughs> You've been playing d, &D. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I am going to... Hide on the other side of the giant tree that has miraculously appeared in front of me. And I have no idea how this happened. And I am going to touch myself to cure wounds. <laughs> you don't have to move, so you still have your movement. You can stand up for half. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, go ahead uh, and roll your cure wounds. 1d8 plus 2. Oh, that's an 8! <laughs> plus 2, so go. 10! <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Okay. Woohoo! I'm at 11 health. Alright, this thing again. <laughs> do you have a bonus action you wanted to do? Um, I'm gonna hide using my bonus action. <laughs> so. You're visibly being seen. Okay. Um, so I mean you you you're hiding behind Stroop tree Stroop. But that blocks you from a bear and possibly two skeletons, but there still is the main bad guy behind you. Great. Just Is there anything? PG. Else you would like to do? I uh, should. I don't think I can. Oh wait. Um, psychic whispers to uh telepathically link to um Tayson and Stroop. So if we need to say anything to each other for combat purposes, we're not heard. Hey guys, I'm 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 all right. Um, what the fuck is going on? How long have I been down? I'm a tree. Uh, oh, uh, about about six seconds. Okay. Um, 
When did you become? A, when did you learn to become a tree? That's new. Really, really not the time. Really not the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole story. I'll tell okay. you later. The the mon blood monster, as it's been called, tries to pull away from you, Tayson, and cannot break the hold. Yay! Stay. Uh, let's see. Let's do some bear action. Do I feel it like trying to pull away, or is it just like uncomfortable? You could feel it trying to pull away, but your lock on this thing. Okay. I th I thought you wanted to talk about making a deal. Shouldn't walk away. Uh, let's see. Bite on the tree will be twenty-one. That hits. <laughs> Still high enough. So quiet. <laughs> um, I'll just give you all the damage because it doesn't matter. But as it bites in, in the burning into your tree flesh, <sighs> uh, it's going to do 11 points of damage with the bite. Uh, and then the claw will miss. The skeleton's now free. Uh, we'll flank you. Uh, first pokey poke. I don't know how you can't how you miss with a tree, but here we are. Um, uh, quick thing, quick. Uh, uh, Philip. Philip hasn't attacked anything. <laughs> I, I'll give something one point of damage. Here you go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you, Do you want to go ahead and do the sound effects for that real quick, there, Hannah? Pew pew. Thank you. <laughs> Nine points of piercing damage from the first one. Uh, it's higher, but I still don't think a 12 is not going to hit you. So your bark is just so rugged. Now you chose Oak, didn't you? And, I mean, just as a wood itself, it's not piercing into the bark as it tries to stab into you. Uh, that takes us to Tayson. Uh, excellent. Oh, this is the second round. I want to lean into this if I can. Um, I can I can keep you know swinging away at this thing, but I I almost kind of want to I I kind of want to walk up to it. I want to get close. Like, if I wasn't close before. Yeah, I mean, he's not far, so you yep. can take a step forward. Yep. Uh, so, step forward. And I I want to focus. I Like, I, I want to set the vacuum from low to high or whatever's going on. I This is new to me and Taysan. But he's digging it. Because he went from a point of absolute powerlessness and helplessness and things were terrible and like the tide is turning, he's not sure why, but for once he's not going to ask questions about it. Okay. So I think he's just going to lean in. And if there, it, it, I don't know if it's, you know, mechanic wise, I got no idea, but I'm leaning into this tug of war that I've got going on with this thing. Okay. You pull in on it more. It doesn't seem to draw faster. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, I just going, all right, uh, takes out the ax, <laughs> just, just sitting on his back. And, uh, I want to booming blade this thing. I don't think it's going anywhere, okay. but I, I want to hit it with an ax because, sure. oh, I should, I should, I should make sure Stroop isn't like uncomfortable with me being an ax now that she's a tree. <laughs> Uh, that is. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not tree for. Oh, that's right. Uh, Do I hear this so I can act as the? <laughs> I forgot that you're in my head. <laughs> I didn't communicate that. I thought it. I, I don't know. Either way, um, seventeen to hit again. Oh uh, yeah, that hits. Consistency. Lots of tens. <laughs> If I do hear it, I do communicate this to Stroop. Stroop, are you okay with Taysan being a? Uh... You you do not, but it's a thought. Yeah. you can communicate. You but can you're still not say it. <laughs> you can have this thought. I give you permission to have this thought that came to my head. Um, 
so d12 four plus four plus a d8 which is five so 13 points of uh damage okay and for my bonus action i chill because i need to look at my sheet and go back and forth and i kind of more invested in what's going on with the tree because it's 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 neat all right uh stroop waffle yes to, yes that's I thought you nope. were talking to me i was like what <laughs> what do you want um i'm assuming it's been about a minute one one whole minute of combat no no, no? oh okay <sighs> i don't know what i'm doing um, minute is 10 rounds 10 whole yeah. rounds see i always thought each person took six seconds not a whole round was six seconds. No, and wow, I've been weighing this. What I used to do is like everybody does their turn, and then I used to turn that into the story yeah. that happened right then. Oh, like a, I've been playing D and D wrong for a long time. <laughs> there's okay. a whole lot of spells that got anyway, way better. <laughs> a lot of things are doing great. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm an expert on D&D. Um, she knows everything. Even experts know mm -hmm. things. <laughs> um, uh, then I'm not going to do what I thought I was going to do. I'm going to instead... Okay, so Taysan is fighting the the blood guy, right? And all these other guys are attacking me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not doing great. I'm going to get on the other side of that blood guy. Okay. And... Um, and do my grapple thing. First skeleton will miss. The bear will crit. <clears throat> the second skeleton misses. And it has to be the claw attack, so... Twelve plus... Five, Seventeen points of slashing damage as you... Run away okay, from. instead I'm going to go down. Yeah. Oh instead of moving, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and go down. Okay. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, so your tree form Stroop. is still you. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Stroop turns and the tree moves forward one step. The bear slices at the back. And the tree forms into Stroop, who is now laying unconscious on the ground. That's let's go. Uh, Marinda. I'm assuming I'm still close to Stroop, given that I was hiding behind a Stroop tree. Mm. Yes. And reach out and touch face on okay. Stroop. And then as a bonus action, I am going to cast Healing Word. Uh, that is a total of four. You get four hit points. It's four more than I have. That's fair. <laughs> and the good news about that is you have an action. Mm, that's a bonus action. Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, invoke duplicity. Okay. And use a channel divinity. The other side of the bear? E. And that'll be my turn. Taysan. Mm -hmm. The thing pulls its hand back, and as it does long, it extends the fingers. You hear gross snapping and it severing tended sounds as it elongates these nails uh, and breaks the connection. And it's going to take a swipe at you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I, and I doubt 11 is going to hit. Not going to do it. As it's discompobulated from from that, it swings out just a little more widely than it wants to. And Juniper's gift deflects the nails itself. Um, it was three rounds. Your next spell will be a critical. You just have to hit. But you'll get critical damage. Okay. Okay. But that is that thing's turn. Marinda and Stroop, I need dexterity saving throws from both of you. As the bear breathes out just raw fire into the area you two are in. 
great. Just a 10. Just a 24. 10. Okay. 24 will make it. 10 will not. So. Sixteen points of damage. <clears throat> Halved if you made it, and I don't know how high your rogue is. I don't know if you get to. I'm so up. That's no, later. I, mean, Not. I did. Oh, yeah, I figured it is. <laughs> so you'll get um, six points, Marinda, and Stroop will get twelve. I'm I'm still down. Still down. The two skeletons will step up and flank Marinda. Great. Uh, that will be a uh, dirty 20 to hit. Yep. That hits. Uh, five points of piercing and four, so nine total damage. As it pierces in, you can feel your flesh uh, singe and the fire burn. It's how many total? Nine. Guess who's on death saves again? <laughs> right. I hate it here. As you go down, the other one goes, nah. And walks up to face him. <laughs> <laughs> it is flanking with its master. But I am sure, Taysan, uh nine's not going to hit you. No. Sorry, I'm just digging the idea of this Disney look of this skeleton going, <gasps> <laughs> uh, and it misses on the second one you're just overcharged right now but you are flanked mm -hmm. the blood creature and then the skeleton with both of them down there's still a bear and a skeleton behind you so uh okay. hannah how is that philip uh saving us <laughs> <working out? laughs> you heard it before it's, it's coming guys it's coming patience is a virtue <laughs> Yeah, the Philip missed. I rolled for it this time. <laughs> um, Philip. That's them. So Taysan, it is your turn. Okay. So my next spell, because I feel so powerful, is a crit. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is hit. I'm gonna or try. Save, I'm gonna try and do something stupid then. Um. We're already I'm, on death save, so you know technically I, you're good I got to do no whatever heals. the hell you want. Like I, I, just, I, my heals are, are get to a point where things stop attacking me and us for me to try and find a potion on your bodies. Wow. Oh wait, you've got good berries. They're they, they plopped off of the tree. Bloop, 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 on the ground. Um, I am going to chaos bolt, but I'm gonna twin it. Okay. And I'm nice. going to throw one at the 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 large blood being. I, I didn't want to call it a monster, but at this point, I'm I'm kind of biased. Um, which would be disadvantage, <laughs> but I'm going to use my tides of chaos to cancel that. Okay. And I'm going to throw another one at the bear that has a skeleton okay. by him. Roll that out. Okay. So I, I'm just, I'm rolling two attacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one of them for the thing is an 18 on the, it's an 18 and 17 on the die. Okay. That hits. So they both hit. Oh, they both hit. Yeah. Okay. I need to roll 48 and 2d6 for this one. Oh, wait. No, that's not how we do the criticals. How does this work here? Uh, Max damage plus the dice roll. Okay. So. D6, 2D8, 16, plus another 6. So 24-something. Uh, that is... This is going to get dumb. I'm sorry. I was hoping for this, and then now that I'm here, I, I don't actually know <laughs> that I was ready for it. Um, if you roll, So I rolled, uh, I rolled two threes. Or no, sorry, two twos. So it will be 
uh, 24, and then another 10 points. So 34 points of cold damage. But because I rolled the same number on the D8s, it bounces to the next thing that isn't me. Okay. Well, hold on a second. Yeah. So that's to the bear, right? That was to the big guy. Okay. Because that was the crit. I mean, does it have? It just goes to infinity. Uh, I I no, no I I re-roll, but I have to get the same number on the d8s for it to bounce again, and it has to be within thirty feet, and it can't hit something it's already hit. Okay. Uh, you do have a skeleton behind you, so that's not a big deal. Yeah. All right. So thirty. Thirty-four cold. Four. To big blood boy. All right, big blood it thing smacks him hard. He wobbles back a little bit, but he seems to be standing. As it bounces and hits the skeleton, it just gets destroyed right where it's at. Okay. And then and fourteen there. points of uh, lightning damage to the bear. Okay, that's again. It's max. It's a crit. Oh, oh! This is the same spell because you're using. I twinned it. Okay, so I like. I took all this energy out. That's actually kind of cool. I took all this energy and then <clears throat> took it and split it and then threw it at the two things. Okay. Yes. Um. So then that would be eight. So twenty four plus another. Uh, fourteen. So thirty eight points of lightning to the bear. Oh, okay. All right. That was a good round. Uh, for my bonus action. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I'm like, oh, man. Two point. Oh, wait. No, it's the spell's level. So it's just one, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to use another two points to quicken a... Uh, I'm going to quicken a uh, shocking grasp on this large entity that was talking to us earlier and didn't want us to leave. Okay. Uh, that is a... Ooh, that might not hit. Uh, 16 to hit. That misses. Okay. And, and it's scrambling for its life, so it just makes sense as you reach out to do this, that it, it moves out of the way. That's hilarious because I was trying to retreat as well. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, that's me. All right, Stroop. Hi. Give me a give me a memory. When I was a young Stroop, my father <laughs> took me into the marketplace to see <laughs> a marching band? to see a banana stand. <laughs> I'm not even mad. <laughs> he said, Stroop, when you grow up, you may be the savior of the hungry, the starving, and the damned. <laughs> and I said, Dad, why are you talking like that? That's that's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, uh, okay, uh, weirdo. Uh, I guess we can make some banana waffles. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> and we bought some bananas, and we went home and made some banana waffles. Okay. <laughs> Miranda, I need another memory uh, from you. God damn it. Um, so, this is one from when Miranda was really young. It's when her mother was teaching her how to use her shape-shifting ability. Um, she was maybe about, like, three years old, and, uh, her mom had a little stuffed animal in front of her, and she would do peekaboo with it while changing her face. Okay. That is absolutely adorable, actually. Mm -hmm. That might be my favorite thing you've done on this show so far. I'm not, I'm not like guaranteeing it, but like it, it's absolutely like in the running. 
This thing snaps its neck around, looks at you, Taysan. <laughs> Fight me now, and disappears. The bear runs. The bear runs up and tries to bite. Mm-hmm. Juniper's gift seems to push off both of the attacks on its own. As you turn around and face, oh come on, uh, the skeleton that's now there. The first one seems to be deflected off your armor and does a 15 hit? It does not. You have an AC 17 currently. But it doesn't have the purchase to get you. Mm -hmm. Well, that that answers that question for me. Uh, Let's see. Philip. (laughs) Is Philip strong enough to lift a good berry? Come on. No, okay. this is this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Philip is a sprite, can see invisible things. Mm-hmm. Philip fires its bow and arrow, does one point of damage, and you watch this thing phase into existence and then fall into a puddle of blood. <laughs> so, Philip! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mike, you did a ton of damage, but there was that one hit point. I you never, I never it. want the glory. Don't, don't worry. I'm happy. Uh, I'm a different kind of support class be, this time. <laughs> it'll be your turn. Am I still looking at a? It's my turn. Am I still looking at a fiery bearer and skeleton? Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> Good eye. I nice shot. Um. Hold on. And Taysan is going to... I'm not actually dashing, but I'm based... These things are attacking me. I don't care. Um, Running past to get to Stroop. Okay. Um, It's the bear's claw. 18 hits. Shield. Okay. There you go. Uh, my AC is currently a 22. Well, then that 21 will miss as well. Huzzah! As run by. Uh, and I don't roll any ones on those two spells. Uh, I, I, I have not rolled a one on any of the spells that I have cast. Because okay. I got to remember that. I trust that. you to tell me. I, I, I trust it. Trust me now because I literally did not roll until this moment. <laughs> well, no, you're, you're rolling, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. I trust you. I was not going to do that because I didn't want to... This was the only thing I was giving up in this battle because I didn't want to put you at more of a disadvantage if something happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mo, I, I thank thank you for the uh, new feature. I don't know if it's an ability because I don't have control over it, but it was super cool, and uh, I hate it, and I love it, and I, I have questions. Um, but more importantly, I have priorities. Um, and uh, Taysan sprints past the two uh, current attackers, uh, grabs uh, basically is here's Stroop leans down I we all got potions before there's also good berries on the ground I, I didn't know if they were close enough but either way just, bah, bah. Uh, if I can find a good berry close I am just yeah face, it would be in chomp. her hand as she fell okay yeah. great I'm just doing one chomp of her, of her face. One chomp. Okay. And then I'm standing Good and I'm pass. turning and blocking off. Okay. Stroop, you have one HP. Um, are, is the bear 20 feet away from me? Uh, about, yeah. Okay. I want to get up from my near-death position, somehow my chemical romance is playing in my head, mm-hmm. and I want to wild shape into a war horse. You have no more wild chips. I want to cry openly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it, it. <laughs> if it means anything, you could also cry openly and not let Marinda die again. Yeah. yeah. But you have cool, you have cool spells because you, you do are have that. a spell druid. Yeah, I do. 
<laughs> did um, you hear the reluctance <laughs> in that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to first pop over and give Miranda a good berry. Oh, thank you. Um, we're in a cavern. We can't see the sky, can we? No. Are, are we playing how many times can Miranda go on death saves tonight? Is this, this the game? Sure. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go ahead and cast bark skin on myself. Okay. Just for safekeeping, you know. Going to cast please stop hitting me, please stop hitting me. Dear God, please stop hitting me. Yeah. I just, in my head, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Rub the berry juice, like, that's yeah. on my fingers on my face, and then it turns to bark skin. I, I did the pulling the seed, but yeah, yeah, same thing. Miranda, you have one hit point, and you're on the ground. Oh, wait, yeah, because you did good berry here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. I'm going to roll over... Look up at the bear, flip it off, and then, like, touch my face, like, Jesus, and, like, wipe the blood off while casting Cure Wounds. Okay. Are you standing up with this as well? Yeah. So, that is going to be... Banana bread. Hey, that is another fucking eight. Okay, so that is ten. <laughs> All right. The bear comes up to you, Taysan. Hello. Uh, the bite will be 22 to hit. That that meets. Well, you it, are you still going? Until, the, until my next turn, and I did it as a reaction. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, so it bites through your shield and does seven piercing and one fire, so eight damage. And then it tries to claw you, to claw, uh, and will miss. The skeleton, I think they're behind you, so it can't flank. We'll just come up next to you. Um, its first stab will be 16. Nope. Second one will miss because it's less. That's their turn. So Taysan, as these things come up, the bear like it gets you. Like it's scary. It's a big bear that's on mm -hmm. fire, breathes fire, and bites into you. And as it does let you go, it goes to swipe, and Juniper's gift just flicks it away. The sword wielding burning skeleton comes off to the side of you and tries to jab the first one a little wild coming around but as it gets some more perchment it comes in looks like it's coming and you deflect it as well and it is your turn i want to swing at the bear okay. all right uh that is that's not great uh that is a fifth 14 14 that hit. yay take that bear Uh, that is 13 points of force damage. Okay. Wow. All right. And then uh, I will say, back up, please. I can't do that again. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Stroop. I am going to cast Flaming Sphere, even though I know they're fire, but I only have fire things for some reason. Um, I'm going to create this five-foot sphere of fire, and I'm going to use my bonus action to ram it into one of the skeletons and cry when it doesn't do anything. You know what? Roll me, roll a d20 and add your spell modifier. Guardian. Guardian. 16. These what are you trying to hit? What? What were you trying to hit? Uh, skeleton. You smash this ball into the skeleton. And you destroy the skeleton. Thank goodness. <laughs> and the fire yeah, does nothing to it or the bear. Cool. <laughs> but the skeleton Bunk. is destroyed. 
I don't see why you can't crush a ball. It's a bludgeoning damage. I rolled one d6. You got it. Boom. Okay. I did something. That was the first time you could have killed something with your scimitar. <laughs> I thought my scimitar no, I'm would kidding. melt, I'm, I'm though. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. You're fine. Morinda, it's your turn. I am There's... going to yeet some soul knives at a mean-ass bear. Okay, because that's all that's left. Oh, convenient. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. I'm going to yeet some soul knives at the nearest target. All right, Taysom, uh, you take you take 32 damage. I don't know. I, that's why I said a mean-ass bear. Yeah, you did great. Uh, I'm assuming a 22 hits. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. All right, and sneak attack. I'm assuming goes off. Eleven. Eleven points? Yep. As you reach out, this black blade with the swirling smoke appears. You whip it, hits it in the chest. What do you want to do for your bonus action? I'm going to eat another blade. <laughs> okay. Um, Soul knives are cool. Uh... 21. We'll hit. Five. Or no, wait. As you... Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me, six. <laughs> As you reach up with the other hand and throw out a celestial one, you hit it for six. Taysan, it's going to try to bite you again. This seems reasonable. <laughs> because <laughs> it's right there. Well, I don't endorse this course of action. I do respect it. Uh, 20 to hit? Shield. Not natural. Damn it. <laughs> okay. That was a two. Bite. That was scary. As you put up your shield, it, it pushes away as this other shimmering light above. You'd have to be really close to see it over Juniper's gift mm -hmm. because of all the laser show thing going on. Color laser show with the guy who sees... Blue, everything in gray this is awesome to me. It will try to claw you, and with the shield up, it will bounce off the shield as well. And that will take us to your turn. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna axe a bear. Okay. A booming blade. I gotta ask you a question, bear. Oh, uh, God. fifteen to hit. That will hit. Ooh. That's that's the good stuff. Hello, D12. <laughs> Thank you for having double digits. <laughs> uh, that is a, a, an absorbent amount. Uh, 8, 11, 4. That's 23 points of force damage. It roars as it misses off the claw, and it comes back again to get ready for another attack. You come straight up. And as you do, you watch this form from a bear just fall into rocks and magma on a cave floor. And as you look around, the ruins are gone. The only light is the piles of burning skeletons and the magma pile now, giving off dim light in this cave. Let's get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> um, should we rest first? I mean, I don't want to sleep in here. There's a bunch of... Uh, I don't like it in here. I would like to sleep outside. Is there still blood, like, kind of pooling in areas, or is that completely gone? Like, this just looks like a cave with some smoldering weirdness? Yes. I I, I mean, if you two want to kind of take a breather, you know, like at the cave entrance, I, I mean, yeah. yeah, I would I like probably a little bit of sleep. My invoked duplicity... <laughs> <laughs> is my clone just staring like aimlessly at the wall, <laughs> or did it? <laughs> oh, um, well, oh, I guess I should do something about that. And she snaps her hands, and it just mm -hmm. tinkles out of existence. Uh, 
I'm I actually, if you don't mind, Philip Philip was great. He saved he saved us actually. Um, he, he yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he that's why he's here. Uh, I would like to dismiss him now though. Oh, uh, I think. Do you, oh, uh, no. I was gonna ask you if it was okay for him to tag along with me. I want to kind of check the place out. It, there, there were a lot of bodies. Yeah. I want to see if there's any kind of like, you know, uh, any kind of like, uh, oh, it, it, uh, basically if there, if there was any kind of like notes to, to mother, if I don't make it kind of, th- I want to, I want to check around. Oh yeah. Yeah. Take Philip. I just, you know, when, when we're done, I, I'm sure he wants to go back to his own plane of existence. Oh, sure. And not fight these things. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much, Philip. You have been uh, more help than anybody ever suspected you would be. Except for me. I knew you'd be great help, but nobody else believed me that you would be great help, so thank I, you, Philip. Who, who are you talking about? No one doubted Philip. Oh, out loud. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. Okay. <laughs> out loud? Out loud. I don't believe you, but okay. <laughs> it's not out loud, no. I mean, I'm, I I saw Philip do some amazing things, but that that, that was just me. Um, I, I feel like most of that fight, I wasn't seeing anything. No, I, I mean, you threw a lot of knives, and then, you know, uh, I mean, it's a fiery bear. I think you're, I think you're allowed to, you know. Yeah, you guys should go take a break. Um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go take a, a little short rest, if you know what I mean. I, I think I have some burn cream in my bag. Do you need some stroop? Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna eat the rest of these good berries. I think there's seven left i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat those <laughs> you should you should probably split those because I, I, I don't I, it, that's gonna Do upset you your st- no i'm fine i just don't want you to upset your stomach i'm gonna i'm gonna go okay miranda and i are gonna go towards the a good place to sit All right do you want some of these berries i might yeah i i okay. don't have any more spells i'm okay uh, here. and i give you four and i take i take three uh, Miranda hands one of the berries to Stroop. She's like, I think I'm maybe a little bit more healed than you are. Okay, you're, you're probably right. Um, I'm gonna go see a man about a horse right quick while we're at this. Um, if you know what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> you, you two head towards the entrance, which you discussed. Taysan, you and Philip wander the cave. You guys head back into the cave. It's wide, not long. It's just a cavern. There's stalagmites and stalactites, which maybe gave away to the illusion of columns here. Uh, but there's not a lot here. There's some moisture build up in the cave, like normal caves have. The rock seems like it's just been here for a while. Do you see anything when you went running around earlier? Or is it pretty much more of the same? Ting, 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 ting. Mm. Okay. Hey, great job, by the way. Ting. Okay. I, I, I really just wanted to give them a little bit of space to, you know, heal, manage up, all that good stuff. But I mean, if you want to go, I, I know like I don't have permission to tell you to go, but I think Stroop gave me permission to give you permission to go. If you got to go, you got to go. It's okay. Shrugs. Ding, ding. Oh. Do you play cribbage? No. Um, uh, just, yeah, again, it's just doing kind of like a walk along hand kind of stretching uh, against the wall as we do a walk around looking for anything, and then if nothing, I will slowly make my return back up to the mouth of the cave. Okay. It doesn't take long. You go there. Um, you guys sit around. Do you want to talk while you're taking this rest? Yeah. Are we taking a short rest or a long rest, guys? We're not short We're not going to stay here short. that long. It, it, we, haven't, we haven't been awake long enough. That's fair. Um, so... That could have gone much more poorly and probably should have gone much more poorly than it did. Uh, you know, because that thing, uh, wow. Um, 
So I've I I I kind of held it for a bit, and I've never done that before. And I mean, Stroop, you turn you you I I saw it. You turned into a goddamn tree, and I've I've never seen that before. It was uh, cool. Um, we're we're kind of at war with demons, and potentially, well, no, not potentially. It, the cult of Deimos to try and bring Deimos back, which means potentially Deimos. I don't know who all we have that are going to be our friends in this, and we're just kind of going off on our own more times than not. Like I, I'm sure we have allies, but it's kind of us. And I'm weird, so I know that I can't, you know, exactly explain everything that I can do, but it seems like we just kind of you know, think it's going to work out and then somebody does something that we haven't seen before and it it's fine. I think for us to kind of be able to work together well and not die, it would be really helpful to know what you can do. Because, like, I, again, Stroop, that was terrifying. I've never seen that before. <laughs> And Miranda didn't even see it. She just saw the after effects of it. I saw you turn into a goddamn tree. And, cool. and you were, it was great. And it was awesome. You were able to help her up. And that's awesome. Yeah. But she woke up to you being a tree. And yeah. if, if it would have been in different circumstances, uh, I, if, if, I, if I get hit by something and then I wake up and I'm in a scary cave and a tree is starting to hover over me, I might, I might, I might hack, I might hack at a tree. I don't know. So, just, why would you hit a tree? If, if the tree it's was not hurt anybody, I literally <laughs> just saw you hit hit like things as a tree. I I don't know about that. I I held someone mm -hmm. to the ground uh -huh. for a little bit. Okay, that's about that's about it. Okay, I, mean, uh, I can do that. I can turn into some animals. Okay, and. Uh, I can speak with plants, as you've heard before. That was that was terrible, but it, and then it wasn't. It was. It's then it wasn't. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Uh, I, I mean, Miranda. I mean, I, the 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 oh look 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 ma no hands a knife thing I you know that kind of came and it's like all right fine then you started talking and to our heads which okay fine great but, but then the one of the knives changed and then it changed. And then it changed, and then it changed, and I, I, you know, there's that. I just, I'm trying to get a feel for, you know, us, because uh, I don't want to die, and you know, kind of planning and knowing what people can do and all that. It might be, you know, yeah. beneficial. Yeah, jacket. Yeah, jacket is cool. Yeah. I would like to know what that does. Yeah, I, I had I had a very bad dream, and I got it from a friend, but I think I actually just got it from me, from the dream. You know, like when you have like one of those epiphany things, it's like that, but different, because I don't think I could have figured it out on my own, but I did. Um, but like subconsciously, uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's, it's like I, you know, and he pulls like the axe off his back. It's like, I... You know, Martin tried to train me on like how to use a sword so I could defend myself better, but it was it, it's not that it was too heavy. It's just that I wasn't I wasn't good with it, mm, and 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 this is way heavier and way more un, unwieldy. And it's almost like there's a second like set of arms like on mine, like somebody's helping oh. me grip it. And that's new. Like, like I, I like couldn't live that movie Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> What's a movie? Uh <laughs> <laughs> but that uh that play that we saw in uh sure. in, in in the place <laughs> where the woman is or the man is dead, but oh, he yeah. to build something. With oh, with the potter. Yeah. Is it like that? Potter, yeah. Yeah. Um oh, was it, was okay. It like that? Uh, like that? But he helps you lift things? Wasn't that one of the vacations we were drunk as shit? I, Wait, that sounds that sounds proper. I think this is something that you. Sorry, don't I think this is. This. <laughs> yeah, that. I I don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, and 
just now, I think I was taking something from that thing. And I don't know how, um, but I think I do know why. Like, I, I, again, I was kind of, you know, like created, you know, I, this, I, I was made with some kind of, oh, purpose thing. And evidently it was to do, you know, I, I, I'm not like you two. I can't, I can't fix things really good at tearing them apart, but I, I can't, I can't fix things. I can't heal things. I can't put things back together. Um, That's okay. I can make things appear sometimes. Like yeah. Philip. Like Philip. And Again, another guy. Totally, totally a different thing that I never, uh, another guy. Uh, yeah, I can make another guy come up, but I haven't seen him yet. And I'm kind of nervous because he's a little, ooh, um, okay, but <laughs> there will be another guy. Okay. At some point. So. Okay. Well, I. To help. I can give you guys, uh, you know, helping hands when it comes to like being able to stealth, and uh, you know, and she pops out one of the daggers. Obviously, this, and she's like twirling it around, doing like fun oh. knife tricks with it. Um. You guys know that I'm a changeling. Um, yep. And that this is not what I normally look like. Um, yep, not in my got natural that. form, at least. Uh, I can apparently... She points where the, uh, the empty-faced, like, doppelganger was at. I can do that. Um, mm -hmm. okay. I can stab people really well. well I mean, I... I... Most of that isn't new information. I think I'm probably better at stabbing than I am at uh, healing, honestly. Like, yeah, I, mean, I can it, heal, it, but for the most part, that's not what I'm doing. But here's... And that's all fair. More of what I was getting at was just, you know... We're good at working with each other. I don't know how great we are at working together. You know what I mean? We We kind of... And, and that's usually my fault because I just kind of go off and do my own thing if things pick up. And that's just, sorry, that's that's years of that's years of conditioning. So if I know what you two are, you know, good at, bad at, prefer <laughs> things like that, then I maybe I can I can fill in some of those gaps, and you guys can fill in mine, and and it's just, yeah. but. I, I just, this is the, starts counting his fingers. This is the fifth time that one of us has almost died in literally like a week and a half. We're now averaging a almost, almost dead friend every 48 hours. I and mean, honestly, it's the end of the world. What were you expecting? I, for us to plan. put us off as much as, much as possible <laughs> but like I, but you're right and you know i this could be totally moot but at the same time it just also made me more comfortable to talk about because i didn't i didn't want to i didn't want to fill an hour of uh resting time with silence that's fair uh so um with my tree thing yeah my tree thing what would really help is um so if i have a guy grappled and huh? then y'all y'all cause him to be hurt i can uh i can take some of the damage that you caused to him as healing to myself that's oh, that's cool yeah so we need to pick a target and then i'll be on one side of him marinda will be on the other and then Tayson also jab 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 see and that's well, exactly so the opposite of what i would have thought i would think if you've got somebody pinned or fixed or taken out of the picture that it, it means I need to, you know, okay, split up. They got that one. Find another. But it's no, no it's no, we got, okay. Die. Okay. That's good to know. I can only hold him. See, I, yeah. we learned something. Okay, great. This was oh, full. And you know, what might be good um, hmm? is if I make some good berries every day first uh, before we go do stuff and hmm? then you get some of them to take with you. And then worst case scenario, you already you always have one on you. It is really okay. terrible anytime one of you falls unconscious and cannot do something about it because I cannot do anything about it without you doing something about it. Again, very good at not very good at help. Um but okay. Okay. 
Well, I had made sure to prepare Spare the Dying before I fell down, but, you know, the irony of that is I'm the one who fell down. (laughs) He's dying. Right. Contingency plans. That's kind of where I'm at. You know, if if Stroop falls this, if Miranda falls this, if Taysan falls this, etc. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. I feel better. How how are you two doing? You're looking better. Uh, I got... Most of the most of the bleeding spots are, are closed, so that's nice. Good job. Yeah, about about fifty percent of my uh, available healing has happened. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm almost at a hundred percent as you see her like wipe her face with like uh-huh. a, one of her I don't know, hankies. She's like, so, I think I'm mostly good. As she like wipes a bloody nose. Uh that said if you wanted to make a sign now that said, do not enter uh, cleansed by Guardian Waffle, you could do that, and it would be true. Because we, we took care of this place. Look at it. It's not bad anymore. Yeah. And that's branding. That is branding. There you go. Courtesy of the Waffle Hut. For there you go. Uh, I want to carve that into a rock. Okay, great. I'm going to do that. Awesome. That's what I'm going to do in my short rest is I'm going to chisel into a rock that <laughs> cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the sound of a awful. DM who just like, you know what, just I'm just going to let him go for a while. <laughs> They'll peter out on the- <laughs> All right. Chisel into a rock and then we, we we're good to go now, yeah? I mean, we we got to keep we got to we, we still got a way to go. Maybe, Just maybe a little bit. And, and and I'll I'll take the blame on this one. Maybe less uh uh peeking our heads into places where they don't belong until we've got, you know, suitable uh reinforcements. That would be a wise idea, yes. Wise, yes. Fun. Are, eh. are we wise though? I'm not quite sure that we are. I think we are wiser than the average person, but uh generally speaking I'm I am chaos. I'm wise. <laughs> I, I'm confused. You guys talk as you're getting your stuff together. You start walking. I I know this is some philosophical shit, but uh, you know, is anyone ever really wise? Eh, I think everybody has their own their own thing of wisdom. You know, things that they're wise about. This conversation is much too heavy for me after you two almost died. You know what? I would rather have a conversation about uh, wisdom than talking about me dying. Okay, uh, the wisest thing I will ever say for you, then. Stop almost dying. (laughs) It's not exactly like I'm trying to. Fair. At the moment. Camera pans back. And now would be a good time to take a break. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, everyone. It's Hannah. Thanks for listening to the Bros and Dragons podcast. You can catch us live on Mondays at twitch.tv slash nerdworksmedia. When you watch us live, you get to see cool things like the Stroop strut and all of the interesting faces that Taysan, Marinda, and Stroop make when Doc throws us a curveball. We really hope to see you there next time. We'd love for you to interact with us in any way you can and, you know, just hang out for a little bit. Now, let's get back to the adventure. Aww, you survived, and I don't have to hear on TikTok about how Doc killed your character. Yeah, we survived, and we don't have to hear on TikTok how Doc said, I'm in charge of a party. Here's my question for you, and I'm tagging them because it's relevant. What are some stupid they things both, you've done lately? <laughs> they've both they both did one. I'm waiting on yours. I refuse. I guess it's never going to happen. I yeah, refuse. I there's, nothing, there's no bad decisions until there's bad consequences. <laughs> Everything else is just a learning experience. Everything is awesome. Mm-hmm. Everything How to piss off the DM. <laughs> Tell me you're trying to piss off the DM without telling me you're trying to piss <laughs> off the DM. Nah, we're fine. That one I don't understand. I never get mad at you guys. No. Never mad. Just disappointed.
<laughs> no, no, I'm a dad, and that didn't happen either. Fair enough. I, I have not been disappointed. You guys have done really good. We have just supplied you with a sufficient amount of chaos, Doc. I don't know what you talk about. After you guys survived the fight, you started walking off and having just esoteric conversations back into the dark forest. The rest of this traveling day, the thumbing of the forest is there. The discombobulated voices is there, but you don't see anything else out of the ordinary. Does the thumbing of the forest, does it seem any like reduced at all? Okay, so it is very much like a constant, persistent thing, not like a gets worse or better or anything like that. If Okay. It's just annoying. Okay. Stroop, I, I'm not trying to add a whole bunch of stuff to your plate, but you might need to... Uh... <sighs> it's going to take you a while to take care of this thing, so maybe, maybe, maybe this is like a later kind of thing, you know? Oh, yeah, fixing the forest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was not expecting to try and fix it right now. Um, I, I think that's definitely, like, what we handle what we need to handle, and yeah. then, like, come back and... Okay, so you know. so the world-saving thing, or the stopping yeah, the, 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 the evil god from coming back thing, and... Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, priority one. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, to push you in, a, in the wrong direction there, then. We probably should have avoided that entirely. And I kind of feel like oh. I pushed you into it, so sorry about that. It, it's okay. You know, we we did a thing. We tried it out. Mm -hmm. We decided it wasn't for us, and mm -hmm. that's okay. Try everything once. If you like it, do it again. Um, that's, I did not like that. No, I did not like that either. Yeah, okay, let's, let's not do that, that again. again. Good call. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. You're you're coming up to a point where you're going to camp. I'm still feeling okay from earlier, um, but I, I am I'm getting a, a little a little. Uh, sleepy. Uh, uh, how about how about I take first watch and then I'll go through for a bit. That sounds great because I could definitely use some sleepy sleep. Sure. I'll take second watch. Before I do, um, Doc, can you? I I have it written down on my character sheet, which is you know, two thousand miles away. Um, there's a teleportation spell. That's it. And that's it now because there there were three. One of them was open. One of them got cast. Okay, mm. cool. Um, okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good then. Uh, so Tayson will just do standard watch as everybody's getting themselves ready to bed down. Make a perception with disadvantage. Uh, one of those is an eighteen. The other one is a four. So that's a ten. You guys are just laying down, right? No camp set up, no fire. Nah, I'm just. In my little sleeping, my sleeping fold on the ground. It's an insulated potato bag because it fit just perfect. <laughs> yep. I'm a potato. <laughs> <laughs> potato waffle. Yes. God. Those are amazing. You watch out amongst everything and nothing seems to stir. Little things catch your eye and you turn, but nothing's there. But this force has been doing that the whole time to you. I hate this place. How long has this forest been like this? Like, has it always been like this? Is it as long as people have known it's been like this? Is it... You know it's always been here. Okay. But I don't think you've studied the dark forest. You okay. know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't know if it was ever something else. Or less bad. It's it's nothing anybody's ever said. Oh yeah, remember okay. when that was? You know the happy butterfly village. Sure, the big village. Okay. Uh, I will go wake uh, Miranda. Hey, 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 you. Mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. What's uh, uh, everything is still shitty out here, but it's your turn. Okay. She uh, stands up. Shakes her shoulders out, and walks over to do her watch. Okay, roll a perception at disadvantage. At disadvantage. All right. Hey, don't. It's scary. So I am 
glad I am a soul knife rogue because I can add because perception is something I'm skilled at, so I can you use one of my psionic dice if I have to. Nice. It's a disadvantage, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a nat one. Nice. What's the total? Um. Let's see, perception is seventeen. Six. No, it's six. <laughs> but I could use a psionic dice and. Do what you want. Uh, to do. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use one of my psionic points to um, okay. psy bolster Nag. Oh, that is a five, so eleven. Okay. You're on watch. You're finding it very difficult with the humming and the voices. It's just starting to gnaw at you, and because of your innate powers that you have, you just concentrate and hold one moment for a second, and all of a sudden you can clearly see again. Little things play with your mind. But you don't see anything that's dangerous or anything that's out there. After a while, of course, the thumbing, the voices, it gets back to you. But you feel like you didn't see anything. feel like you're doing good. She's going to walk over and, like, shuffle at Stroop with her foot to wake her up. Okay. Darling, yeah. it's your turn. I don't want to. I, I, I didn't go want to, to either, but uh, five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> she shuffles at you again with her foot. <laughs> uh, true. Fine, fine. I'm up. I'm up. I'm awake. I'm awake. You see her just kind of like shuffle down, like a cat, like into her bedroll and just like cover her head. Stroop sits up and looks around. Meh. As you take your watch, please roll perception at disadvantage. I'm a halfling. <laughs> uh, 16 with disadvantage. You, again, the thumping, the noise. It's just, it's, it's been two and a half days. This is not getting better. You had a little reprieve at the, uh, I had to write it down. Plants a Liam. But it's just this annoying, festering. And, and it's worse for you because you now, as a guardian, feel the demonic taint that is now here. This is... The, the forest is corrupted. And there's nothing you can do about it. Which even makes it worse. But... At one point with the 16... You see movement in the forest. As you go to do the alarms, you watch whatever it is pause and run away from your area. Huh. Well, now's as good a time as any to make some good berries. And, um, you know, just kind of keep a lookout in that general direction as I cast and just, you know. Okay. Start prepping well, for not, breakfast. You're not a tree, so roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a tree. Ugh, gotta find my detail. I'm, I'm a real half. <laughs> Nothing is more on brand than the fact that Stroop can make good berries, which says provides enough nourishment for a full day. Then the sentence, well, might as well cast and make my good berries and then get ready to make breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I based picking all of my spells based off of my backstory and not off of what would actually be useful. <laughs> um, but brown. I got two good berries. <laughs> That's Best way to drink. Okay. flavor. No, it's perfect. That's how you should ever always do it. That's how you play D and D. No. Hey, look at that! I just did a thing. Do, do, all right. do, do, I miss do, do, I miss hearing do, do, do. that, but somebody has been streaming soon. You all wake up the next morning. It's not the same. You don't cook because you don't make a fire. So you're eating raw or protein bars or whatever you have in your rations packets. And you head off for another day of travel. 
I give each of them a good berry, but I don't okay. tell them that I have only made two. I just give each of them one. <laughs> okay. Like here, just in case. Mm-hmm. Everybody put it in your left pocket, because if you go down, this is your good berry. I'm not kidding. Okay. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Tayson. Okay. So, this, so where are you keeping yours? Okay. Where are you keeping? Okay. Great. I'm going to keep mine here. Left pocket. That's where, that's where they are. My left or your left? My left. As you both are walking the same direction, so it's the same left, mm-hmm. is still my favorite part of that conversation. You go through this forest, the day of travel. It seems like if you didn't know any better, things are avoiding you now. If there's anything here that hasn't bothered you, or maybe it's the other way altogether. Maybe you're almost to the end of this. And as you're having that thought, you come to the edge of the forest. None of you have ever seen the Adashmira. And now you know why it's talked about and passed down through elven history. The trees look like they're infused with magic. The green glow has a crystalline to it. And as you get closer, the forest and the crystalline magic seem to bond to each other and weave in and out of the trees. You are out of the dark forest. And as you do come out, the canopy here is different, and you could see the sky again, Dayton, bright. Ashtir is still showing light, seems to be half full, and the stars are abundant. Even though there's the soft green glow from the trees, it's not bright, it's not disturbing. It's more a low night light than anything else. Stroop face plants on the ground, like, on purpose, and just, like, hugs the earth. Just like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, grass. And just, like, grips onto the grass a little bit. Like, oh. Oh. As you grab the ground, you realize you're the first citizen, not from the Adashmira, to touch this forest. The way that you are. Uh, I'm not... Um, I, I, um, hey, I know we feel great, but you should probably get up. It feels so nice. It's icy. Yeah, but I mean, if people are, if people are watching us that I don't, um, you know, um. I don't see any people. Yeah, it's because your face is in the ground. Um, (laughs) okay. Can I do a perception check? (laughs) Sure. I'll get up. I slowly get up, but I pluck a blade of grass while while I get up. Mm-hmm. I'll pluck and put it in my mouth. It plucks you back. <laughs> Good. Fourteen on a perception check to see if there's actually people around other than us. Oh, with a fourteen, you know you're out of the dark forest and the. Uh... A beautiful, magic-infused forest. And you don't see anybody around? Well, I don't see anyone. Doesn't mean they're not there, though. Because elves. (laughs) She says this full well of the fact that she currently looks like an elf. Yeah, I was actually going to talk to you about that. Um... I this mm, I don't know how good it would look for an elf to come into Adishmira that doesn't speak elvish and isn't actually an elf as things are kind of, you know, tense. So I I know this you're this is this is a comfortable you. Um if you could be slightly less comfortable for a little bit, it would make me much <laughs> more comfortable. Um, what form do you suggest I change to? I I, I, don't, I don't know I that don't humans know. are a good idea either. I mean, you're going with me. I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing. It's either going to be bad because it's going to be bad no matter what, or 
it's going to be fine and i don't want to give any way for it to be bad i don't i i've haven't been a diplomat before i'm sorry i don't really know what i'm supposed to do here I could see how it would be problematic to go into some place looking a certain way when you're not really a certain way. Um, if that is that what you're getting at? Are you kind of drop the elvish entirely and just go in my normal form and go I that way? Because don't that don't might know. go over great. I really don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, here, here's here's my question. Okay. Um, is there a plan C for you? I mean, I can cast... Even if I change my form, I can also cast a sky self later. You do whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out there that it... Maybe, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also not going to tell you not to be... I'm asking you guys in character yeah. <laughs> what you guys think I should turn it to. You should I, be a halfling. I, you should be like me. <laughs> I don't think that's how shapeshift works, because it has to be like generally around my size. Oh. I mean... Stroop is like legitimately disappointed. <laughs> let me I mean, let me read it real quick. Because like, depending I mean, could, on the wording, I, I think I keep my height. <laughs> could, you, could you just look the same, but, you know, human? Oh, no, I can change my height and weight. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you do what you want. She's gonna look like a halfling. Okay. Yeah. Now is this just like halfling Miranda? Like <laughs> Yes. Okay. It's just a smaller version of Miranda. Sounds great. Halfling size Miranda. <laughs> you You guys have to make a decision. Hmm? You're at the end of your travel day. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sleep this close to the dark forest? Let's go in a little further. Yeah, the further away from the, you know, general buzzing and humming of the dark forest. The creepy place the versus the nice place. We, it, we've it, had... To see the stars. I think, is this technically gentrification of the forest? I, oh boy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not broaching that. Um... We we've had we've had a day, so at this point we're tired, running. Yeah. But we're not like, yeah, I'm 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 good to you're, to move. You're you're not exhausted. Where if you want to go for like another hour, it's, yeah. it's going to be slow trekking yeah. because it's unknown for right. But. Um, I I, I just want to get some distance. But I agree. But yeah, yeah, I agree. You walk now you have a good sense of direction you know you have to go very north but basically in a northwestern direction line it up and start walking and in 30 minutes you walk into what looks like a walking path heading the same direction you are oh yeah I think I, I take that as a good sign given that there's a uh... Well, about that, um, the 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 forests of, and gates of Adishmir are closed to anybody that aren't supposed to be there. Well, technically, I, not supposed to be there. Technically, I got invited in, and I sent a letter hoping that they would let you in with me, and never got to get a return message on that. Taysan, um, you are their prince. You can tell them to <laughs> let us in. I think that's how that okay. works. Okay. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Before you guys get too deep, huh? who has the highest history? I get a plus one, apparently. <laughs> but I am also a bookworm. I got a one. Go ahead and move along. What? Hey, go ahead and move along. Let's Let's not talk about it. Keep going, please. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Are you higher than a woman? No! <laughs> Move along! <laughs> Very much not. I made a dummy, remember? Okay. No book smart. The, o the, only, the only person that hasn't spoke was Stroop. Stroop, you remember 
the letter that the queen showed you guys when you got back, the one that talked about Taysan, not the one, the one that Xandro sent, the official decree that was sent, said that the Adesh mirror was open again. Oh. Yeah, um, the gates are open, guys. Like, they, they opened them back up. We can oh. go, like, anybody, we could just go to, like, the <laughs> Disney World there if we want, but... <laughs> You know, we got business to do, so probably shouldn't take this trip there. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. I really, I don't. You're thinking too much about it. We just got to do the thing, you know, just the the waffle way. Just do, the, just do the thing. Oh, okay. Um, that. So that means Miranda probably doesn't need to be a halfling. Okay, I mean. But. That's yeah. that's fair. Okay, fair well, enough. Well, I have to be in this form for at least a day, so. Okay. Oh. Okay. I can oh. only do it okay. once a day, guys. I'm not old enough to do it more than that. Okay. Is there an age limit on that sort of thing? Uh, I, it, it's more I, about ability. Walks. Oh. It tastes on walking <laughs> along the path. You, you guys walk right the out. trail. You guys walk the trail a little bit. You find a really good place to camp looks good to me all right okay yeah sure 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 uh yeah same thing as uh last night i'll i'll, I'll keep an eye out first i guess i'm okay, okay with doing second I'll, I'll go last uh before i go to bed though like but like as we kind of set up i'm just gonna kind of like turn my back to them and cast Goodberry again just to like make sure that I get one because <laughs> they don't know but I also don't want them to know that I, that you know the all three. powerful druid only got two I got three this time so there you go. now I'll have three <laughs> one each is enough <laughs> contingency plans that's right mm mm-hmm. And okay. then I'm going to go to sleep. Taysan, roll a perception. Regular. Nice. Nice. That's a double digit number. 17. 17. Animal. Nocturnal animal sounds. No thumping. No voices coming near you. No weird stuff happening. Normal ish forest. And about halfway through your watch, you think you see movement and then you lose it. Could be a side effect of the forest you just came out of. Taste on a whistle at it. But like distinctly not like an animal whistle. Just a, like a signal like, hey, I'm here. You you say that out loud. You're, you're away from enough mm-hmm. that you whistle. Five elven figures come out of the forest dressed in what looks like similar uniforms made out of bark and skins. Very formal looking, though. And they, the one up front just says, did you, in in Elvin, did you come out of the dark forest? Uh, yeah, um, we, uh, that was the only way to get here. Uh, we went through, um, to try and help the guardians. And, um, well, we were able to fix part of it. Uh, but then, you know, I had to make the way the rest of our way up here. Um, you, you, you guys, you all called me here. Oh, we did not. Are you, are you okay? Are you hearing things? Oh no, no. I'm sorry. A, 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 a missive, a letter was sent. Uh, to Remedigan. There's some whispers amongst themselves. The the one of them just gives him a, a shh, knock it off. We're still getting used to 
Kadesh Mera being open again. I think the world is. It's very surprising to see you coming out of the dark forest. And we're here just to see did you need anything? Is there infections, scratches, anything? I, I mean, we could probably all do with a once over to make sure we were in there for a bit, but I think. I think we're all okay. Uh, like I said, we were, we were, we were, we were. A letter was sent to us to meet Nadishmira. The kingdom is quite a trek from here. Okay. There's a town, half a day's walk if you need to. Sure. Have civilization, depending how long you were out of okay. civilization. Also, I tell you that if you want to avoid civilization, sure. you're not making any judgment calls. And he calls back a couple commands. Come forward, bring a kits. And you see now ten more of them just come out of them. And he says, we, we have healers. Did you? I, th- I think we're actually okay. Need help? Um, hey, hey, Miranda. Hi. True. What? What? Strip just sits straight up. Uh, you <laughs> see Mirinda actually struggling with her bedroll because it's for her normal shape. Not oh my gosh, shape. yeah. <laughs> That's great. Because it's this oversized thing on her right now. <laughs> hey, are either of you... <laughs> yes. Uh, are either of you not feeling well? Uh, we have... We have... Uh, we have we have a uh, company uh, uh, that uh, is here to... They're offering assistance if need be, because there's a town. I, tall. I, 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 I tall. Comparatively, yes. Uh, oh. She like straightens her hair a little bit and her little. Head. It's been a really yeah. rough couple of uh, campaign. I'm sorry. So uh, we are uh, we're a little bit out of sorts. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Miranda's clothing is oversized for her right now. <laughs> no, it, it, it shifts with you. It's fine. You just got the biggest nighty. It's okay. Oh, oh no. I, I knew that. Uh, oh, my God. Just, as, as you said to come forward, and then you started speaking in common because they don't understand mm-hmm. Elvish, you see 10 of them come forward. All of them. The Adashmira elves are moon elves with very lilac-y skin. Different shades of it. Their hair has purple hue to it. As they all come out with, like, bags, and they start talking to you in elven, you two don't understand it. But basically, Taysan, you hear them saying, do, do you need anything? Were you hurt? Did you get a scratch? Did you eat anything in the dark forest? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, my friend there and points to Stroop. Uh, is a uh, accomplished cook uh, and uh, uh, also uh, 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 Doug Ar- a guardian. Doug uh, and, and breaks the Elvish to like look over at Stroop and be like, it's just mm-hmm. guardian. Oh, how, do, how am I addressing you? Uh, I got I got Stroop Stroop Waffle of the Waffle oh. Hut franchise. What do you What do you mean? How do you address me? Okay, fine. Um, Accomplished cook and accomplished just survival list, which is capable of taking care of us. Um, and uh, no, they're both they're they're both pretty pretty accomplished healers. I think we're okay. You, you I, I just see Miranda like slap her sleeves down. Uh, if they happen to have any clothes that would fit me right now, you you are literally traveling with somebody the same size as you. I don't know why you didn't borrow oh. another set of clothes from her, but that's okay. Fine. Um, hello. You guys have just seen Miranda like, like trudging it's gonna, along. It's gonna look like flood pl- pants. I'm just not gonna lie. Yeah, she went out of her way to make herself a very small halfling. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Just parachute pants, Miranda. Um, no, I'm, they, a str- I'm a small halfling. Like, I'm a very small one, and Miranda's like a yeah. normal size halfling, so my pants are going to be like floods on her. Oh, got it. Yeah, so they, they do come forward, and they start pulling out the kits. Um, they haven't touched you. They're looking like they're waiting. Taysan says guardian, turns, asks you a question. The one in front of you gives a phrase. Uh, 
translated in Elven, it's a very formal way of saying it's very nice to meet you. But it is very, it's much more respectful than just, uh, it's very nice to meet you. And they switch to common and they say, Guardians are highly respected in the Adash Mira. Thank you for coming. Are you hurt? Did you get a scratch? Did you eat anything from the dark forest? And they start asking the same questions over and over again. Oh, no, I'm, I think I'm okay. I could use a bath. A bath for sure. Um, but no, we brought our own food in there. We didn't want to eat any of, any of that. It looked gross. It looked gross. The leader now walks up, switches to common. Uh, very... The way he holds himself, the way he speaks, you could tell that he cares for the people. It's not that forceful nature. But he does have a in-charge attitude about him. And he says, we will leave you. But since this is the first time I will be able to say this in common, he says, welcome to the Adash Mira. Half a day's travel up the road, you will find a small town. I believe they have a bathhouse, if that's what you're looking for. There are laws of the Adash Mira, but as a guardian, we would share similar things, which would be respecting in the forest. Please do not hunt the forest for animals. There's an allotment of so much. We can make arrangements for you. Avoid the western mountains for now, if you get that far north. The wardens are fighting battles with demons up there. Um, I'm sorry, what? Some. The wardens. Uh, the ward. Yeah. Um, All of them? A lot of them came over to help fight the demons that were attacking in that general area. My orders, and most of the orders of uh, the Kandishima, okay. the guardians of the forest, and he points to himself and bows. Oh, I'm... Have been... Yeah, I'm sorry. Told to stay away from that area, so we are not in that area. But if you travel north, please try to stay to the east, away from the west. Okay. Well, that's... I mean, that's one, that's one mystery solved. We didn't know where they disappeared to. But they didn't disappear. They were where they needed to be. Okay. Um, any any news on how that's going? We didn't ask. Our orders are to stay away from there. Very strictly given by Xandro Michonel before Queen Navarra and Michonel took over. Okay. Um, I'm and I'm sorry. I I, I I'm I, I'm Tayson. Hi. Uh, this is Miranda and. Stroop, uh, this, I I didn't get your name. Falls down on <laughs> <laughs> I, I I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't ask for your name. I'm sorry. I am Shimal. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Um, what happened to Zandro? It's not my place. Okay. Hey, you wouldn't have happen to have any safety pins in that kit of yours, would you? We do do not. Um, you could find a tailor if you need one. Mechanically, tomorrow is a new day, so you could do it again. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Shamal, you just you, you you transitioned into some kind of overseeing master of dungeons type of person partway through that. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I think, okay. I think we're good. Uh, I think our plan is to rest here, rest the night, recuperate a little bit, uh, and then head to this town. You're, what name of this town? Mialda. Okay. Um, and yeah, yeah, we came through the dark forest. It is still really, really bad there. Uh, I, it's it's not a you know go through the other side kind of thing um and if other people come through uh you know be careful um but i but i i appreciate it thank you um this has been a really good start to this part of our trip 
And I don't get to say that ever, ever, actually, now that I think about it, ever. This has been pleasant and just pleasant, and that's it. So thank you for setting a new personal best for me. He giggles a little bit. They all pack up their gear. He says in Elvin, you know, enjoy your trip. Be safe. And they all leave. Thank you. All right. Well, that was my watch. I wonder what you guys are going to get. And uh, Taysan goes to sleep. (laughs) Miranda rolls up the bottom of her pants and rolls up her sleeves as best as possible. And takes her watch. (laughs) Okay. Guess I'm going back to sleep. Okay. Uh, Oh, sorry. That wasn't worth your time. My fault. Uh, Literally being the first people to talk to people from Adishmira. In Adishmira, uh, outside of I mean, Adishmira, I just, I just can't sleep now. I mean, this was exciting. There was, it was my heart oh, was racing. Oh, got you. Press digitate yeah. lavender scent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that smells like those guys looked. <laughs> oh, oh, that was great. That was perfect. All right. You get back down. And to be clear, those guys were not without weapons. They were very heavily armed. But they were Um, very polite. And they disappear into the woods. Even if you tried to watch them, you couldn't track them. To clarify, you you had said they were the guardians of the four, like of Adishmira, like those specific guardians that stay there. Am I right? So, yeah. What they were conveying in the translation mm. would have been um, that uh, the Kandishamo. Yes. Their job is to patrol the forest. And you would expect before a week ago, their job was to kill anybody who crossed that line. Good timing. Because the, f- the forest was closed off. Right. Or a week or more. Sure. So you were informed that you are the first people to cross that border that they've seen. Okay. It's a good start. Yeah. (gasps) Sleep. Uh, Miranda, make a perception roll. Without disadvantage, now that you're out of the dark forest. Yay. As this naked little halfling's taken... I'm just kidding. Uh, no, use overly one of close. My psionic dice, because that's a two. <laughs> okay. Um, so five plus five. That is a straight up ten. Yeah, it's nice to see animals acting in a forest the way they're supposed to. None of the thumping. It is a relief. Um, I don't know how used to you got to the noise. Might be a little difficult to get sleep right now, <laughs> but it's for another conversation. You don't have see anything on your shift. Cool. She goes over and pokes Stroop. Darling, your turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll take it from here. Take it from here. You see Miranda climb back into her oversized bed <laughs> and like snuggle like way down in it with like the blanket over her head, like kind of near the bottom of the bedroll. <laughs> uh, make a perception roll. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nice. You don't see anything except for normality of a forest. Besides, again, the crystalline forest that's here. You think you hear growling to the south of you? What sounds like arrows flying, and then it's quiet again. But nothing else happens on your shift. This was nice. This was nice. 
Taysan, roll a wisdom save, please. Fourteen. Fourteen? Fourteen. Sweet dreams, sir. You guys wake up the next morning and get your camp together and head off. We have a town to see. Before we head off, Mm -hmm. I'm just turning into like a human-sized Mirinda so her pants fit. Are you going back to your normal half elf or uh, wood elf look? I mean, feel free. Yeah. Might might be a little confusing every once in a while if somebody speaks to you in elvish and you respond with, "Yeah," but I mean, I think we're okay. Sylvan. Huh? She knows Sylvan, so okay, that enough. could be. It's like I I grew up with this, like an old English dialect of elvish. <laughs> Sure. As you walk along with the sun now beating down and you can see the forest, you notice that the trees here have an interesting leaf to them. They're very round and they are four-leafed round, almost like a four-leaf clover, except it makes a full canopy almost. Mm. And I bring that up because all of you know in Martin's room, there used to be one of those hanging from the wall. You continue your journey. Do you want to talk about anything? You got like five hours. Honestly, today, no, I don't. <laughs> like, no, I'm just, I'm really. super excited to not be in a forest and be scared of whatever I hear. And like, I'm less scared, but I'm much more be, I'd much be happier with like a building. As you come out of a clearing. You start heading over a rock bridge over a creek. And in the distance, you can see what you think is uh, me all day. Hey. As the camera backs off of you three, down into the round capped rainforest. Not too far from a border of the dark forest. You watch. All different types of species seem to be digging. There's one hole that goes down where people seem to be bringing up things. And as the camera comes in closer, all the eyes are not only glazed over, but all the pupils are red. They bring up stones and separate them. And as we, the camera pans to the piles, so they look like regular stones that you would get from a quarry. Some of them have magical writing on them. It looks like scratching, not like regular runes in their beauty, but a scratching that all seem to be glowing red. The tomb is open. And as we travel inside with the camera, we see digging and moving. One of the rocks gets pulled away and we can see that there's a chamber in there as one of the goblins holds up a light into it, a torch to see. A makeshift room that has the looking of onyx, black. It almost absorbs the light and you would think it would do the whole room if it wasn't for the large throne at the end. Uncracked. But one of you have seen something similar to this before with now the three on the top of it. As they all get excited, seeming like they found the the chamber that they were looking for. And we'll see you all next time on the Rose and Dragons podcast. Love one another, keep it nerdy, and live your dreams. Later. Bye.